Hello. Today we're going to talk about how to actually eat food. <clears throat> now this subject is um, well quite confusing but I just wrote a book recently and the title of the book is If You Only Knew um, and it says what really makes you fat and one of those things that really upsets our balance or how our body holds weight and actually uh, is allowed to use uh, stored fat effectively is actually how we digest food. Now, what I'm going to explain to you today about vegetables, protein, and carbohydrates, it's not going to be as fundamentally as important when you're in your 20s. So if you're watching this video and you're in your 20s, this is not going to be as really seriously sensitive for your system as it would be somebody 32 years old and older, okay? Uh, but with that being said, not a bad thing to learn how to do because let's say you are 20, someday you will be 32 or older. So this is just a good reference of information to understand. And what we're finding today, because there is a lot of food combining going on, that we're actually seeing people struggle with weight conditions and health problems associated with foods that are combined that really should never be combined. Now, let me first explain all this, okay? First of all, when we eat protein or vegetation, now when I say vegetation, I mean leafy green vegetation, a vegetable that is non-carbohydrate based. That would be anything pretty much found on a salad, lettuce, romaine, that kind of stuff would also be broccoli and cauliflower, cabbage, that kind of stuff, okay? So it would be a, a non-carbohydrate. Uh, a lot of the carbohydrate sources of vegetation actually get thrown in there and people get confused by that. But if your, your, your vegetable is starchy in any way, shape, or form, um, then this combination will not work. So, again, protein and vegetation or protein on its own. Protein and fat, by the way, are the same sort of category because most things that generally have protein are pretty much going to have fat. Like if you have a steak or chicken or whatever, it's going to be a little bit of fat in there. So that, that's really not a concern. Okay. Now, the big problem is, is carbs have to be consumed and eaten alone. And we're going to talk about that tonight and show you a small demonstration as to why that is so important. Um, when we have our stomach acid and we're chewing our food, the liver is actually analyzing the food and suggesting certain enzymes and even biles from our gallbladder that are injected into our gut system to actually break down the food so that it can be used in a way where it's beneficial to our body. Now, this is greatly corrupted when we add carbohydrates at the same time. Carbohydrates are digested differently and not so much when we're younger do we notice this okay but as we start to get a little older we actually notice gosh when I have carbohydrates with my meal I feel like bloated and, and heavy and nasty now there's a reason for this and I'm going to show you a demonstration today as to exactly why now here in a second I'm going to do a close-up on the camera but I want to make sure that this information here is well digested in your mind because I'm going to take us to the office later and we're going to really thoroughly understand this part. Okay, so again, vegetables, no problem. Protein, no problem. But carbohydrates must be consumed alone. Okay, now if I'm consuming a carbohydrate, I just need to make sure I have an hour's time between what else I'm consuming or I will get that heavy bloaty, nasty feeling, okay? Now, carbohydrates have that ability in any, anyways because they produce uh, large amounts of insulin and that does tend to uh, make us feel that uh, sort of bloaty and nasty and that kind of stuff. So, I just want to put that out there. Carbohydrates in general are energy food and a lot of us get more of those than we uh, actually need by far. So, let me do a close-up on the camera because this is very important that you see what I'm going to do here. So it's going to be a few seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, real quickly, like I said, this is just a demonstration. 
But here's the stomach acid and it's all prepared and it's ready and it's got everything ready to go and it's digesting protein and vegetation. And then all of a sudden you decide to slam down a dinner roll. And so here's the dinner roll. Okay, this is the carbohydrates coming in and boom and woof, it massively explodes. And what this is doing, if you can notice what's happening here is it's an inflammation. So it's inflaming, it's causing a reduction of oxygen, which is causing all sorts of inflammatory responses. And this is going to ruin your healthy digestion, okay? Not to mention some of the other functions that it does affect in the body, which we will speak of uh, here at uh, a later time. I'm gonna take us in the office and we're gonna really discuss what we saw here and, and, and take it a little bit deeper, okay?